Welcome back to Wendy by Design Studios and here is another sewing machine tip, presser feet. And I have a collection of feet that yard sales, old machines, feet from people who buy machines who have extra, kind of trade them off. But here's a sewing tip that I got from someone who was having difficulties with the fabric buckling. I did go ahead and purchase this presser foot here which is a Teflon foot. I think it's from Nancy's Notion. I'm not sure, but I'll look it up. But this is for my Singer, and it comes with different attachments. You can also use the roller foot, the satin foot, which isn't really as slippery, I guess, as I'd like. Not as slippery as Teflon foot. But here's a secret. If you just have, like, one basic foot that you use for everything. She said, listen, honey, take you a piece of scotch tape, not the shiny kind, but the kind you can write on. And of course, you would cut it down to size and place it right on your presser foot. And of course, I just rip it with my nail. But this will make it just as smooth as your Teflon foot or your satin foot and now you have a satin foot for free and then you can take either I don't know you don't want the needle to press but you can just clip that out or you can pre-cut your hole or you can actually use two pieces but I wouldn't because one might get caught if you're using it a lot but it'll slide right over the fabric real nice and smooth. You can actually bring it up some, keep the fabric from going in between your standard presser foot and when you're done just take it off and throw it away and it costs you nothing at all. But like I said, I know that you can get this tape at um, the dollar store. I would highly recommend using Scotch brand only because it's a higher quality and you can use it for a lot of different stuff. Just one roll, one small roll. And as you can see in the picture, I keep my scotch tape dispenser attached to the wall with some 3M command strips. And I'm a command strip junkie because that way I can move things around and attach them to the wall without tearing up the wall. Because you, as you know, as your sewing room changes, so do your needs. So that was just a little tip for the day. don't want to purchase a Teflon foot or a satin foot. And you just have your basic presser foot you can use the scotch tape and it'll work just as well. Happy sewing!